Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lars. I'm from Lifestyle Integration, and in this video, we're going to be addressing questions about kelp. And the first question is number one, why should you use kelp in the first place? And number two is how do you know, despite the label on the bottle, that you're actually taking real kelp? Let's first address the question of whether you're using the right kelp in the first place. Now kelp, as we all know, is a seaweed and it actually belongs to a specific order and the order is called Laminariales or Laminara. Now other seaweeds belong to different orders and these seaweeds are things like bladderwrack and dulse and others and what's happening in Australia and other countries is that they're lumping them all in together and simply labeling them as kelp and they're not. They're completely different orders of seaweeds. So you want to make sure that you're using an actual kelp that comes from this Laminara family. In addition, when it comes to using the right type of kelp, is at this point in time, due to the unfortunate accident in Fukushima with the radiation, you would preferably be looking for a kelp that has its origins in the Atlantic Ocean, not the Pacific, although as we all know, radiation will spread around the world eventually and that may be an issue we need to look at in the future. In Australia, a couple of years ago, when I was looking for a correct kelp, I was unable to find it. And that's what's led to us importing this particular brand of kelp, which also is sourced from Atlantic waters. Let's address the question now of why should you use kelp in the first place? And the first reason is that it's an excellent source of nutrients. It's calcium rich, magnesium, iron, zinc, selenium, and is low in copper. It also has the ultra trace elements in it as well. It's a complete food, well not a complete, but it's an excellent food source for various vitamins, minerals, amino acids, etc. The fact that it's low in copper is also important in this modern day and age as a lot of the people that we come into contact with when we're checking their hair analysis have too much copper in the body in the first place. So the first reason we use kelp is it's a great source of nutrients. And the second reason is that it has these things called alginates in it and alginates attach to and help eliminate toxic metals which is a huge benefit in this modern day and age and kelp as a whole is quite non-toxic when there is a bit of a, a concern with mercury and arsenic and seafood and kelp when you have this mercury that's in the combination of a natural food in this particular order of kelp it's quite non-toxic and the third reason that you'd choose to use kelp is because of the halogen effect and that needs to be explained and to do it I want to show you this particular picture here this is the periodic table of the elements and you'll notice in this purple column on the right here you'll see fluorine or fluoride chlorine bromine and the fourth one down is iodine now iodine is the main reason people use kelp we have all kinds of problems with thyroid in society and iodine and the lack of iodine is a very important thing to consider when it comes to thyroid function most people know that what people don't know is that there's things out there called antagonists and these halogens are part of this antagonistic effect on iodine so what happens is if you have here this fluoride or chlorine which is present in most people's water if those things are being ingested in high amounts they have the net effect of blocking or canceling out the ability of your body to use iodine so what that means is that you may have normal amounts of iodine in the body and through the diet but if you have these high amounts of chlorine or fluoride or bromine then you can't use it and you'll suffer from an iodine deficiency it will be what's called a relative deficiency versus an absolute deficiency but a deficiency nonetheless so this is a very important thing to understand as to why we would use kelp because we need the iodine another reason that we would tend to use kelp is that it's a real food and it's better balanced it's far better to get your nutrients through foods than it is through individual supplements and that's what we're referring to here when we talk about being better balanced if you take a look at this picture here what you're looking at is the mineral wheel 
And a lot of people don't realize that when you take in one nutrient, that will affect another. And a classic example, an easy one, is that most people know that if you want to raise your calcium levels, you use vitamin D because vitamin D is synergistic. It helps the calcium. Well, there's these other things, like we just explained before, that are antagonistic to iodine. The halogens is the example that we use through here. However, you've got to keep in mind that if you just take in iodine here, you can see iodine, that that's going to have an effect on other nutrients. Cobalt is one, you're aware of fluoride, and there's potentially other interactions as well. So we're almost always better off when we take it in as a food, uh, or less, such as kelp, versus taking it as a Lugol's um, liquid or some of the other forms of iodine that might be suggested for you. And the fifth reason that I would suggest that we want to be using kelp for is that it's inexpensive. Kelp is not an expensive supplement to use, and it really, really is beneficial. I hope this helps to explain why kelp is such an important and critical aspect of our overall health and well-being, and also that not all kelp is the same. If you're an Australian interested in purchasing some real kelp, visit our website at lifestyleintegration.com.au and for international interest, contact us and we can make the arrangements to get this kelp to you. Of course, if you're interested in more videos just like this, we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel up here on the right and feel free to take a look at some of the other videos over here on our right. Until next time, keep well.